three stupidest mistakes you can make in your signature? Well, in this short video, I'm gonna tell you. Now imagine you get elected to the Secretary of Treasurer and you have this signature. What an embarrassment. It's so bad, not only did CNN make fun of him, I was on CNN making fun of him, and they had him change it to a new signature to print on the dollar bills. Now, you're watching this and you're probably never gonna be a secretary, or maybe unless you're a rock star or you are a movie star, you need to think about your signature, not just your celebrity autograph. So here's the three stupidest things I consistently see in signatures that can cost people money, cost people lawsuits, and generally make yourself look like a jerk. The first and most common mistake is making your signature illegible. Scribbling, X's, Y's, blah, 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 blah. First of all, anyone who sees that on a contract, they think you're kind of a jerk. And it's been my experience. If you're not, if you can't take the extra six seconds to sign your name where I can read it after we have a contract, I'm not gonna trust you very much. I remember there was a $14 million house in Las Vegas that was in a lawsuit for two years because the broker signed his name with an X or a G or a swiggle. Let's face it, if you want to avoid lawsuits, separations, uh, if you're a musician having all your rights taken away because you scribble your name and someone can copy it really easily, by the way, that's a myth. You can't copy it really easy, but complexity is the key. If you would just sign your name in the language that you have, let's say, my name is Bart Baggett with all the letters in a legible way, there is a lot of complexity to that and forensic handwriting experts can go to court and prove you signed it or you didn't. But it is a lot more difficult in so many ways if you just have an illegible scribbled signature. So take six seconds and sign your name like you mean it. People will appreciate you for it. I know what you're saying. Bart, but I'm in a job where I sign my name a thousand times a day. I'm always in a hurry. I just don't have time to, to do that. I get it, man. I get it. But if you want to avoid lawsuits, at least have the real signature, the one on your marriage certificate, on your driver's license, the one that you sign documents that you really care about, make it legible. And then on those initials, on those real estate forms, I guess since you're in such a hurry, you can make it fast. But don't merge the two, because it will lead you to trouble. And intuitively, people that don't even study handwriting analysis, they don't trust you, they can't read your signature. Now, the second dumb thing people do is they cross their own name out with their pen. Now, this is not something that's so much a forensic issue or forgery issue, but it signifies that the person writing the name and then scribbling out is like building a sandcastle and kicking it over making a painting and then tearing it up. If you sign something clearly, do yourself a favor and avoid bringing any strokes, crossing, crossing back, and crossing out your own name. That is a sign of self-sabotage, self-destruction, and it can't be good for your unconscious mind. And finally, the camouflage trait. What the camouflage trait is, is a circled signature where people write a circle because it looks cool, it looks clever. What it's really doing is signifying to any trained handwriting analyst that you have a fear and that you're protecting yourself and you're not as confident as you think you are. So circle letters, despite how artistic you think it might be, sends a really bad signal to those of us trained in handwriting analysis that you have a fear of being known. Now, I realize most of us develop our signature third, fourth, fifth grade. Some people go, oh, I like my third grade's teacher. I'm gonna write her name like that. And that kind of might be how you develop your signature, but that's not how you developed your handwriting. Your handwriting is brain writing, comes from your unconscious mind, and many times people's signature is wildly different from their handwriting. Again, if you're a movie star or a rock star, you get a free pass. You can have ugly scribbled autographs. That's not a big deal. But for the rest of us that sign contracts and Valentine's Day cards and things that matter, we're gonna have a legible signature. And if you're thinking about how to rewrite your signature, think about all the negative traits that they can tell in graphology or handwriting analysis and avoid those traits. Now I realize not everybody's trained in this science and I get that, but viscerally, people recognize negative traits. So do yourself a favor, 
redesign your signature in a way without these three traits. And there's about 10 more I can tell you about on another video or inside one of our courses. My name is Bart Baggett. I'm with Handwriting University International. Appreciate you watching this video. Hit subscribe, hit like, visit our page, and uh, let's learn more about handwriting analysis and forensics.